guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl Andy Crimson and this is Mukbangs and Hangs. I had a totally different meal planned out for this video, but you know, stuff happens sometimes, so we went another route. I got some food from a local place called Philly 77, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got from there. Look at this bad boy. This is a huge Philly cheese steak. I got the A1 Philly, which has like the A1 sauce, the steak, the cheese. I think there might be, yes, there's some onions and there's bacon in here. Look at this. Oh, cheese ball. Let's see if I can do like a thumbnail. Okay. So I'm really excited. I've been to this place before, but it's it's been a minute. I don't even remember what I got. Maybe it was some kind of chicken Philly or the pepperoni one. I don't know. But this place is kind of known for their large portions, especially their desserts are like stacked, like a milkshake and brownies and stuff like that. It's a lot of sugar, so I didn't opt to get that this time, but I wanted to try this place out. I've actually been wanting to do it for quite some time on the channel, and now we have the opportunity. So let me get my ketchup and all that good stuff. So what's been new, guys? I'm recording this a little bit earlier than normal because I've got some stuff to do on filming day or stuff that I just want to make time for. You know how it is. Alrighty. We'll, we'll attempt this little short one right here. Again, this is the A1 Philly from Philly 77 in McAllen, Texas. So here's the first bite. It's hot. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Epic fail. Ooh, that just means it's fresh. Okay then. Too hot. I guess it is pretty steamy. Put this back in here. I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> fail. Hmm. <gasps> Mmm. Mmm. Now, I've never had A1 on anything, so this is the first time I'm also, like, tasting this. Mmm. It's very juicy. There's the meat, some cheese, and then there's the bacon. You can really smell the bacon. It's pretty good. This kind of just feels like a barbecue sandwich of some sort. Mmm. That's so hot. <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty good. Definitely probably burned my mouth on that one. <laughs> mm. Now, Philly 77 is also known for like their loaded fries with like the steak meat in them too. But I couldn't say no to my sweet potato fries. Mm. Mm. So spring break is just right around the corner. And oddly enough, like every time I get like a craving to go to the beach, it's always around spring break, which if you're from around here, you either go all out and you go or you just avoid the beach like the plague. So where I live is like an hour and a half, two hours away from the beach. Um, we're that, we're um, that far away from the beach, but it gets pretty crazy at the island and I think maybe it was five years ago and the years prior that like every year something tragic happened it's just like a thing and it's just crazy it's just too crazy there i did end up going once and it was like at the tail end of the spring break and even at that it was just chaotic and packed mm. I don't know why 
I agreed to go. I then maybe thought it would be fun, but there's a bridge, right? We have to cross the Queen Isabella Causeway Bridge to get to the island, and four hours to get to South Padre Island from Port Isabel. No, bumper to bumper on the bridge. It's kind of scary given the history of the bridge. People are already like throwing out their, the rings of the six packs and trash. It's just getting crazy. And that's at the end of spring break week. And then two and a half hours to get off the island at night. Ridiculous. And for what? It's dangerous. There's some sketchy people. And there's children on the island at that time, which I don't understand. But it is what it is. I just like, it just sucks. I get the craving to go and I just absolutely have to avoid it. But who knows, maybe soon. Do y'all have any spring break traditions? I had another one growing up was to go to the livestock show that they have in Mercedes, Texas. Every year since I was like five. It's kind of like a big fair, like where people from schools, like they show their animals, there's carnivals. Showing off their like agricultural projects and stuff. I did that, but I never like showed in that big show. So I'm thinking I'm going to go again this year. I'm super excited because it's been years since I've been. So it's very nostalgic for me. So everything tastes great so far. Um, the A1 pairs great with the meat. The bacon, like I can smell it, but I can't really taste it, which isn't a big deal. But the bread is soft and it's delicious. Mm. And y'all, don't judge me or not, but sometimes I dip my fries in mayo. Does anybody else do that? Mm. Love these fries. I'm really looking forward to my first concert of 2023. And no, it's not Ghost. Surprise, surprise. I'm actually going to go see um, the Sisters of Mercy in Houston in May. I'm really excited. It's like the first trip of 2023. I was kind of up in the air if I was going to go or not. But now that it's all planned out, I'm excited. I love planning trips, but just, just for this, hold this thought. Um, finding a place to stay near the venue was a bit of a challenge. Normally, I'm not too picky. I'm not going to spend like a uber amount of money on a hotel for one night. Um, but the last few hotels I've booked where I've let my like standards or like kind of standards on drop but like you're reading reviews and it's like oh the reviews aren't that bad and then there's like little things that are like eh, it could have been better i was like i just want to aim a little bit higher on the ratings but it was so difficult to find like a venue ideally close enough to the venue close enough to things that i want to go see um in a safe place where the parking won't be a problem either and i finally found one but let me just say this trip planning it so far had been a little bit like oh where am i gonna go but I'm excited. Oh, look, some of the meat fell out. Check it out. Mm. Let's tackle this big old boy. Look at that. That's cheese right there. You see, this one's not that hot. I like the meat because it's real 
thin and soft. There's no nerves. You know, it's easy to get through. I've also been wanting to get out and explore a little bit lately. It's been a minute since I've um, gone to any kind of like wildlife refuge, which I love to go to when the weather's nice and when I can protect myself because bugs love to eat me. It's so annoying. <laughs> I have to wear like a bandana around my ears. I look like an old granny because I just can't. They're like attracted to my ears and they just, ugh, it's super annoying. But I've been like curious about ghost towns. I saw this video on YouTube and I was like, I wonder if I have any in the area. And it turns out there's a few, like maybe four in Hidalgo County. Maybe at least one of those is in Stark County, but I had no idea. But according to like those websites, there's not much left of the ghost towns. Say maybe like a field, a building. It's not like if you travel further in Texas, you actually see like whole towns. There's this one that I wanted to go check out, this one site. It's out there in the boonies in Edinburgh. It was called Stockton. It was founded by some Swedish people. And I was like, oh, cool. And all that's left is a cemetery. And I'm like, I'm about that. I want to go check it out. <coughs> but yeah, there's just like, I didn't know idea that there was like little ghost towns in the valley. I don't know. I just really want to get out and travel one of these days. So you like nature taking back buildings and just kind of sitting in that silence, in those noises of the wind and the creaking of the old things. Hmm. That was a juicy bite right there. Hmm. Oh, and the melted cheese just like. Mmm, it's oozing. It's so good. What I like about Philly 77 is they also have like this really cute like outdoor patio area. It's on Old Lady 3. If you guys are local, you can go check it out. I recommend their fries. I, I recommend this one. This one again is the A1 Philly. This was actually pretty delicious and it's a decent size. It's not too small for the price. Mm. Mm. Like I said, it wasn't my original plan that thing today, but I'm glad it happened. So it leaves me to say, what are we going to rate this A1 Philly from Philly 77? Definitely it's in the above average category. So five and up, five to 10, but where exactly? Mm. Well, everything about it is well cooked, um, soft, tastes good. The only thing was that, as I said earlier, didn't really notice the bacon taste. It just kind of gets lost in the A1 sauce and the, how the regular meat tastes and some of the grilled onions and the cheese. So if you were really banking for that, it is kind of lost in the sauce, so to speak. But I think that can put this one on a uh, probably like a nine because that's really the only thing. 
to make it complete was to have that crunchiness, that flavor of the bacon. So nine out of 10 for this one. If I would have had that, it probably would have been like perfect 10. Mm. That being said, this is going to be it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and sharing meal time with me, the mukbang time with me. I'm going to go ahead and leave all my links in the description below. If you want to check out my Patreon, I'm always like posting like behind the scenes and extra stuff. Um, I've got my Instagram going. We're still working our way up to the 3K giveaway. The 3K giveaway is going to be like all ghost related items, merch and um, <sighs> some other little cool prizes. But yeah, so we're, we're working our way up to that. I was thinking about doing just like a separate giveaway for the Primo Funko that I have. Where is he? I don't know, back there somewhere. Oh, right there. Uh, so I don't know. I just haven't like been showing him. I've just because I was planning to give him away, but I'm like, let me put him out here and let me see how I feel. If I'll keep him or not. But in any case, if you guys are following my Instagram, you'll be the first to know what's going on in regards to anything ghost or the ghost giveaway. And I'm also gonna leave down um, Mad Galaga's link to her Kickstarter. I'm a big fan of hers. And I talked about her in the last video. She's doing a fundraising project for her debut album and all the crazy, wonderful things that are coming with it. So go ahead and check that out. She's almost at 100%. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.